I farm here. Tell me about your, your farming operation. Well, it's right across the um, Hanalei Bridge. It's the, the first farm on the Ohiki Road. It really, this the break, it happened about 20 years ago, 1995. So really the farmers been kind of up in the air about the, the, um, the, the flow the, of the water. So all that time, it was like a big dark cloud for all the terra farmers there. So when we try to press forward to have the repair, and like I said, 20 years, we were doing a lot of repair on our own. But um, finally, when we got movement and seeing that we can do the repair, the state came in and said, look, we'll fund it. You know, that was one of the best news. And I tell you, when this project is done, the line farmers are going to be so happy. So I'm, we're hoping that, you know, we got the right weather so that we can progress and the contractor can complete it. And thanks for DLNR allowing us to, you know, everybody to be participating and do a good repair. If, you know, like uh, any farmer, without water, that's a life lifeline of the crop, yeah? So without the water, we cannot plant any taro or uh, harvest. And then it also uh, benefits the wetland birds. That's what they call it, wetland birds. You need water, yeah? So it benefits both sides. So I think we all know that the importance of the water going to the taro lo'i. Do the homework, study, yeah? Come to meetings, learn first before they uh, come up with their uh, take on it. I, I think they'll realize that when the break happened, I don't know, thousands of uh, cubic yards of uh, silt went into the Hanalei uh, Bay. So what this here is a repair to prevent that from happening. So I think everybody need to uh, be calm, do the homework, and then they realize that this is the best route. I think what, what's going to happen is that everybody will realize that it's going to go back to normal. Hopefully that everything is done right, you know, and I think it'll be, be good. Like I said, the farmers are waiting for the completion.